Hello and welcome to another episode of Cyril's Brettspiele. My name is Niels and today in a nutshell, Alan R. Moon's Airlines Europe Abacus Spiele. Yeah, what's in the box and let's talk about the rules briefly and quick and fast as always. So in the box, a gigantic, not gi really gigantic, but a large uh, board game, nicely designed of Europe. What a surprise. Then we have paper money, boohoo, paper money and one in five. We have 10 different companies, uh, airline companies with shares. So the shares, what you can see is first of all, the color, this is white. And this number is also important. This number determines the number of shares. In this case, there are seven shares. And also, like for an example here, the blue airline has 15 different shares, so 15 different of these papers, and 15 of this beautiful little minis here, this little plastic airships, airplanes. We also have two of these tokens. The tokens are just here. And here to indicate, first of all, their stock value. I explain that in a minute. And their headquarter here on the board. There's one additional, an 11th company in. This is Air Abacus. And Air Abacus don't have any airlines on the board or routes or whatever. They are just here and they are 20 of them in the game. We also have for special routes for the four tiny ones. I don't explain it here too deep. And victory point tokens. You know that probably from uh, Small World. Small World has also a victory point po token system where you get out these victory tokens. In addition, you have three scoring cards. So that means you have three times scoring during the game. I explain that in a minute too. And you have extremely good quality uh, cardboard helper sheets and these helper sheets are really important to explain the game why because this game is so easy to explain you can explain the rules just by using these cards here so on your turn you have exactly four different actions to do action one is and you can pick only one let's start with D this means take 8 million euro 8 million euro that's option one action Two is trade in one share you have uh, either in your personal area. So what you're doing with these shares is you have them either on your hand. Right now I have five stocks on my hand of these companies. And I could simply, as you saw on here, trade in one for one. And the red one is Air Abacus or three for two. So I can take... Two, uh, three out of my hand or just one and trade that in, discard them and take two back onto my hand. That is option one. The other option is you have them later on lying out on the table here. That's where you really are invested in which companies. So I'm invested right now three in green, three in purple, one in blue and one in gray. And whatever I have on my hand is not worth to mention because it's secret it's on my hand nobody knows except for air abacus maybe you mention they have a red background here so however if you don't have air abacus they have gray backgrounds and then you have simply five different shares but they are not really interesting until you play that into your personal stock area when a scoring comes out only the things in your personal stock area counts. So now you know already two of the four different actions. Action B is simply play down shares from your hand into your action. That's a way to get money as well. I told you you can take eight million dollars. However, now you can play either all of one color. In this case, wow, great. Four orange, one, two, three, four, and take eight million dollars. Or I can play two different companies, one share each. So one and one makes four million dollars. Why do you don't want to play all of at the same time? Ah, wait one more second. So this is the option B you have and option A is you can build routes. 
Routes, you're always paying the money out of your personal pocket. Means you are taking your own money and building for a company. You always have to build on the cheapest spot. In this case, three and four is available. You can only take the three. You pay three million dollars and raise the value of this company by three. You can only build attached to your hub. So in this case, Blue Airline is located in Rome, in Italy, or to any other route you built before. So you can build from here, here, and then probably here if you want. So you pay for every time you build and you can build up to two and then you get a share. You always have a market of five available stocks and you can pick one. I know that's 10, that's not five. You pick one and take that into your hand. These are the only four actions you can do. Build routes and take a stock to your hand. Bring stocks from your hand to the table. The only area where it really counts. Trade in shares for air other costs or take money. You play that game until one of these uh, scoring cards shows up. There's a specific way how you put these scoring cards into the uh, stack of shares. So whenever you're buying shares, it's more likely that next time you will get a scoring. And please take a note, this is a different color than this and that. If the um, marker for the company is in that area, orange and blue, even if blue is more worth than orange, they have both the same scoring. And that means simply the leader who has the most shares of this company gets four, uh, four points, second one, two, one and zero. Later on, probably as you can see here, you have 10, 5, 3, 2 and 1. The only exception for that is Air Abacus. That is this one. The only way, remember, to get these is by trading them in. And I know that's around. So in the first uh, scoring, it's 4, 2, 1, 0, 8, 4, 2, 1, 0, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. In the third scoring. And maybe you mentioned the highest scoring you can get is 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So Air Abacus scores exactly the same in the last round than the best company. If there is the best company, I've seen a lot of games without this one here. And now, like always, in a nutshell, let's talk about my personal experiences and my personal desires for Alan Armour's Airlines Europe. First of all, I wanted to let you know, this game is also with a different theme and a little bit of different, slightly different rules available as Union Pacific with railroads, obviously. Um, but this is the latest in the series. So Eleanor Moon started off with Airlines. Airlines was also an Abacus Spiel 20 years ago. Then he f uh, created uh, Union Pacific and then he created Airlines Europe. This series along with other games, obviously. I mean, who knows? Ticket to ride. Nobody ride. Anyway, uh, so he is big in this route building for airlines or trains. However, this is the latest in the series of Airlines Union Pacific and Airlines Europe. And you see he smoothed a lot of the old ones. So I played a lot of Union Pacific. That is really good. That is has also the same mechanic different stocks different number of stocks and it's really it's really a great game if you're looking for the next step above a ticket to ride but same strong feeling of route building and doing something um, then this is probably a really good idea what you're doing in this is instead of completing your own tasks your own tracks so travel from madrid to moscow and as you mentioned even some of these cities don't have really names. So this is probably Warsaw. I don't know if it's Warsaw. However, um, they don't have names in it. This is Copenhagen for an example. I know that by heart. Uh, this is Edinburgh probably or Manchester. This is probably Dublin and so on and so on. However, um, 
in, instead of completing this route, you only try to drive up the stock value of the companies where you are heavily invested in. However, let's assume you are starting off with a company that has only nine shares and you have four on the table in a four player game. It's very unlikely that someone else can get the leadership in that. So why should someone else build orange airplanes. So you will pay for the orange routes always out of your personal pocket to make some uh, progress for the company. But what you wanted to do is you wanted to start off with let's say one orange so you hide uh, and you have three still on your hand. You wanted to hide, oh I'm good in that. Let's assume someone else has two oranges on the table. Then he's probably interested in building here, building here and starting off and then uh, f close to the end, bam, you're saying, okay, here are three more. I'm taking the control of this company, even if you never really control a company, but you are taking the benefit of having the majority in stocks. That's basically what you're trying to do. You're trying to convince other people to build routes on companies. You have still stocks on your hand, but then it's time wise. So you have to time the right moment before the next scoring comes to the table. And this is really, this is exactly what I said. It's exactly the next step of Ticket to Ride. If you think Ticket to Ride is a great game and I'm totally agree, Ticket to Ride is a great game, then you should try out. Airlines Europe. That is the next step, the next natural step in that game. Because this has much more deep decisions to make, a little bit of trying to, oh, when do I have to do something with very, very simple rules and you can easily at any time in the game see the rules on your little helper cardboard cheat. On the back side, there's a reminder how many stocks from each company are in the game and as cream on top for whatever you're seeing in here, I will show you the box, the insert of the box, then the insert, the tray is easily, you put it on the table and you play out of the box. That is how Airlines Europe work. And honestly, almost everybody liked it except for people who just wanted to start stop at the stage of Ticket to Ride and don't want to play harder games than Ticket to Ride. And that is only a couple of my friends. So I have one or two that's saying, oh, Ticket to Ride is a really complicated game. However, I don't think so. So for me, Airlines Europe is exactly the next step. Please check that out. That is one of my actual favorites right now. So check that out. Alan Amund's Airlines Europe. I know it's a really hard to get. Abaco Spiele don't have any US distribution. However, try to find one. Otherwise, mail me and I will send you some links how you can get Airlines Europe. Thanks for watching. That was Niels. Another in a nutshell edition. Sylvus Brettspiele and see you next time. Bye bye.